Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the brand new Science Gym Show! It's going to be the same great show as we've done in the past, but this time we're taking it up a notch by making it just look that much cooler with the help of Brad! That's right guys, I'm here to help just clean up the editing and uh, make the show even more fun to watch. What's wrong? Uh, what's with the, uh, and, and the, uh, and, and, why, what's with the outfit? Well, because it's a science video. Where's your goggles and head coat and stuff? We don't need them. But it's not, we're going to be doing, like, experiments with... Yeah. we got to be, like, safe and professional. Well, yeah, but the stuff we're going to be doing is all stuff you can do at home. It's all safe. It's all easy as long as you follow the directions. So, yeah, you don't really need the goggles and the... Although you look really spiffy. You don't really need all the stuff. So this was a waste of money? Yeah, sorry, man. Rats. You must have missed the memo. You don't send memos, Jim. You don't send memos. That might be why you missed it. <laughs> Maybe. But so that's anyway. right, guys. We're going to be doing just safe do-it-yourself experiments. You don't need the gloves. You don't need the lab coats. You, you have all the supplies we're going to use, most likely in your own kitchen or living room. And um, like he was saying, great, same great content as always. The same... Hilarious science, Jim, presenting the show to you. I'm just here to help with the whole visual experience and, and just crispify it, if you will. Crispolate. Crispolate. So, yes, that's... so with that, uh, let's have that intro. The new and improved intro. Go intro! It's not playing. Intro! Here, intro. Here, boy. Intro. Here, intro. Oh, intro. here he comes. Here oh, comes. good. Here he is. Oh, what a cute little intro. Ah, ah, is you want a little intro snack? I do want to eat him. Jim Science Jim. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today in the Science Jim Show, we're going to play with one of my favorite at home scientific instruments the microwave. Just about everybody's got one of these things. And there's all kinds of great experiments that you can do at home, and most of them are relatively safe. Now, for today's experiment, you're going to need two things. You're going to need your handy-dandy heating up the soup microwave, and you're also going to need a bar of soap. Now, not any soap is going to work. You're going to need to use ivory soap, and we'll tell you why when we're done with the video. So get yourself a bar of soap, get yourself a microwave, and let's do some science. So here's what we're going to do. you got to get your bar of soap first. First thing you want to do is take your bar of soap, you want to break it in half, because you really don't want the whole thing in there, and you'll see why in a second. Then take that broken bar of soap and put it on a plate. A plate, probably a plate you don't really want. Something you can throw in the garbage when you're done, or something um, in case it breaks, you don't get in trouble. Now you take that plate, you take that soap, you put it in the microwave, right about in the middle, give or take. Shut the microwave door nice and tight, and then set your microwave to approximately 45 seconds, give or take. Then stand back, take a close look, See what happens. Thanks, Brian. Anytime. Fantastic. So did you see how when we put the soap in the microwave for about 45 seconds, it went from this nice tight little mass of soap to this monster blob of soapy good doomness? Uh, thanks, Brian. Don't mention it. So anyway, yeah, it was totally cool how it went to the soapy doom thing. It was like this monster was going to burst forth from the microwave and attack us all. It was awesomely cool. Now the reason why that happened is because inside this little bitty bar of soap is ba -ba bazillions of little bitty bubbles. And those little bitty bubbles, if you can imagine, they're kind of like little bitty bubbles of chewing gum. So they're in this kind of, you know, chewing gum. It can get bigger, it can get smaller kind of a thing. And when you put it in the microwave, all those little bitty bubbles of chewing gum go from one size to a much bigger size 
which makes the bar of soap go like you saw happen on the video. So that's what's going on. The heat makes the bubbles get a little bit bigger, actually quite a bit bigger. All those bazillion little bubbles getting bazillionly little bitty bigger makes this giant mass of soapy monstery doom this. Totally cool. So at home, you guys gotta try that. Remember, ivory soap is the only soap that I've seen that works. If you find something else, maybe that's cool too. But it's because of all these teeny tiny little bubbles that makes ivory soap really works really well. All right, everybody, so in conclusion, we saw how we took a normal bar of soap, shoved it in the microwave, 45 seconds later, we took this average, ordinary, boring bar of soap and turned it into this monstrous glob of soapy doom! <laughs> oh, sorry. Anyway, thanks so much for watching the Science Gym Show. Be sure to subscribe for more. In the meantime, never stop wondering, everybody. Gym News.